Want to generate PDFs directly from your mobile app? Say hello to the PDF package. The PDF package of Flutter allows us to create new PDF documents seamlessly from scratch, for example, PDF documents, with text that dances and layouts that rock. We can add text, images, tables, and other elements to create custom PDF content with styling, customization, headers, footers, margins, and page numbering. Add latest version of PDF, Path Provider, and open file packages in pubspec.yml file and download them. PDF package is used to create and save PDF file. Path Provider package is used to access app directory. Open file package opens the PDF doc. Inside the home page .dart file, we are creating four elevated buttons, each capable of making a different type of PDF magic. Each button, when pressed, generates, saves, and opens a PDF. For the first button, we are generating a simple text PDF. For the second button, we are generating paragraph PDF. For the third button, we are generating a table PDF. And we are generating an image PDF for the last button. Let's create a save and open document class in save and open PDF Dart file. Inside it, we are creating two async methods, save PDF and open PDF. In the save PDF method, we require both the name of the PDF and the PDF document itself to save the PDF with its corresponding name. Within it, we initially obtain the application directory using the path provider package. On Android, this is achieved by using get external storage directory while on iOS, it corresponds to get application documents directory. Let's create a file object representing the file path using the obtained root directory and the provided file name. Next, write the bytes of the PDF content obtained by calling pdf.save to the file asynchronously using write as bytes. In the end, we are returning the file object representing the saved PDF file. Inside the open PDF method, we require the PDF document file to open via the open file package of Flutter. Inside it, first we are getting the path of the file. Then we are simply opening it by using the openfile.open method of the open file package. Next, let's create a simple PDF API class in the simple PDF API.dart file. Inside it, we are creating a generate simple text PDF method, which returns a future file and accepts two texts of type string. Inside the generate simple text PDF method, we are initializing a blank document. Next, let's add a single page using the add page method of PDF. Page parameter is positional and index is named inside add page method. Let's use the page widget of the PDF package. Page has one required parameter, which is build. Page widget also has other properties like theme, page theme, page format, orientation, margin, text direction, etc. Build parameter of the page takes a callback function and we can return any widget of the PDF package inside it. We cannot return widgets of Flutter inside this build parameter. The widgets used for building PDF documents have similar names and functionalities to the widgets in the Flutter framework. This similarity in naming and functionality makes it easier for us to switch to creating PDF documents using the PDF package. Inside the build parameter, we are returning a column wrapped by the center widget. Inside the column, we are using the given string as text widgets with font size of 48. After the add page method, we are calling the save PDF method from the save and open document class. For name, we can use any name. Let's use a simple PDF as a name. For PDF, we are assigning the above PDF document. Inside the on pressed property of the simple PDF button in the home page, let's call generate simple text PDF method of simple PDF AP class, which we have just created, and let's use two random strings to show in the PDF. Next, let's call the open PDF method of save and open document class and give the above file. After hot restart, click on the simple PDF button and see here the PDF with a simple PDF name is generated and opened successfully. Next, we are creating paragraph PDF API class in paragraph PDF API.dart file. Inside it, we are creating a generate paragraph PDF method which returns a future file. Inside the home page .dart file, let's call this method in the on pressed property of the paragraph PDF button. Also call the open PDF method of save and open document and give the paragraph PDF file here. Inside generate paragraph PDF, we are initializing a blank document. Let's also call the save PDF method from the save and open document class and above it, call the add page method on that document. Inside add page, we are using a multi-page widget. Multi-page has one required parameter build similar to the page widget of the PDF package. 
Multi-page widget also has other properties like page theme, page format, header, footer, theme, max pages, etc. Build parameter of the page takes a callback function, and we can return a list of widgets from the PDF package inside it. Let's set the page format to A4. Inside builder widgets, first we are using the custom header method. Let's create this custom header here. We are returning a row wrapped by a container for decoration and padding. Inside the row, we are using a PDF logo, sized box, and text in it. Here, container, PDF logo, sized box, and text widget are from PDF package. Next, let's use the custom headline method. Let's create this custom headline here. Inside it, we are returning text wrapped by the header widget. This text and header widgets are from the PDF package. Next, we are using the create link method. We are returning a text wrapped by the URL link. Next, we are using the bullet points method. We are returning a list of bullets inside it. Let's create another header below the bullet points. After the header, let's create four paragraphs from the PDF package and for text, we are using lorem text as placeholder from the PDF package. In the end, let's create a header and footer to display page number on both. Let's create a build page number method here. We are returning text to show the current page and total pages. Let's rerun the project and see the PDF generated. Click on the paragraph PDF button and see here the PDF with a paragraph PDF name is generated and opened successfully. Next, we are creating a table PDF API class in the table PDF API .dart file inside it. First, let's create a user class with name and age parameters. Next, let's create a generate table PDF method, which returns a future file. Inside the home page .dart file, let's call this method in the onpressed property of table PDF button. Also call the open PDF method of save an open document and give the table PDF file here. Inside generate table PDF, initialize a blank document. Let's also call the save PDF method from the save and open document class, and above it, call the add page method on that document. Inside add page, we are using a page widget. We are returning table helper dot from text array inside its build parameter. Data is required parameter of from text array of table helper class. From text array has other properties also like context, cell padding, cell height, cell alignment, old cell style, cell format, cell decoration, and many more. Let's set the data to data and headers to headers. Headers accept a list of strings and data accepts a list of list of objects. Let's set the headers to name and age here. And for data, let's create a list of three users and then convert this list of users to a list of objects by using map function. Let's also set the cell alignment to center and table width to max. Also change the header height, cell height, border, header style, and cell style. Let's hot restart and see the PDF generated. Click on the table PDF button and see here the table PDF. In the end, we are creating an image PDF API class in image PDF API.dart file. Inside it, let's create a generate image PDF method, which returns a future file. Inside the home page.dart file, let's call this method in the on pressed property of the image PDF button. Also call the open PDF method of save an open document and give the image PDF file here. Inside generate image PDF, initialize a blank document. Let's also call the save PDF method from the save an open document class. And above it, call the add page method on the PDF document. We are using a multi-page widget inside add page. Let's assign page theme parameter to page theme and define it here. Page theme parameter accepts page theme widget of PDF. Page theme has multiple properties like page format, build background, build foreground, theme, orientation, margin, text direction, etc. Let's set the page format to A4. Build background is a callback function and accepts the widget of the PDF package. We are setting a condition if page number is two, then return full page widget. Otherwise return an empty container. Full page has two properties, child and ignore margins. Ignore margins is required. Let's set it to true. We are using the image widget of the PDF package for its child. Let's use memory image because the PDF package does not have asset image or image asset widgets. Memory image accepts images of type unsigned 8-bit integers list. Let's create image one here. This line is used to load images from the assets directory of our Flutter app. Let's also load image two using the same code. Next, for the build parameter, we are using the image widget as the first child. We are using an image widget as a second child wrapped by center. 
Let's set the width to half of the available width of page format and height to 600. Let's also set the alignment to center. For the third child, we are using an image widget wrapped by Clip Erect. Let's set the vertical and horizontal radius to 32. After hot restart, click on the image PDF button and see here the PDF with images. In this way, we can create unique PDF files from scratch using the PDF package of Flutter. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't miss out on the Flutter fun. Smash that subscribe button and let's code something awesome.